The thing about looking at the night sky is it reminds you of our history. For thousands of years, humans have been looking up at the night sky, and I think it's ingrained into us to have that emotional connection with the night sky. So here in Moab, out in the wilderness, we have this enormous opportunity to see the whole sky. Typically, we, we want to look at the night sky through a telescope, and we only want to look at at a very small portion of it. So what, what I like is, is naked eye astronomy, looking at the entirety of the cosmos. Yeah, the Moab area hosts a lot of dark sky friendly areas. Um, we have three dark sky parks just in the Moab area. We have Dead Horse Point State Park. We have Arches National Park. Okay, we have Canyonlands National Park. And then even Moab, the city is now an international dark sky community, which is a really cool thing. So it's kind of like this whole area has really become a dark sky focused place, which is awesome. And then you want to be able to connect people to the dark sky. That means hosting educational interpretive programs, whether they be full moon hikes, uh, telescope tours, constellation tours, anything like that. People love getting out here and experiencing the night skies. And when they are out there experiencing the Milky Way for the first time, looking through a telescope for the first time, whatever it might be, you see that connection. And it doesn't matter whether they're eight years old or 80 years old. We are here tonight for a star party at the Sand Flats Recreation Area, and Sand Flats is also applying to be a dark sky park. Star parties are really, really fun things to come to. There's a lot of things you can see in the night sky, whether it be planets, constellations, stars, and even comets. When we do star parties at night, we tell stories, we tell mythology um, of these constellations. And these stories that we've learned are, have been handed down thousands of years. Different cultures all over the world have different stories, different myths related to the night sky, related to the stars. From a Na Native American perspective, to include the night sky is a living entity. How it interacts with the people, how it interacts with different groups, and also how it interacts with time and space. We are losing something that has been part of every creature's existence since the beginning of time. This artificial light is affecting all creatures on the earth from mountain lions to humans. Light pollution is just like any other pollution. It is something that you don't want getting into something else. Light pollution is this excess light that goes up into our night skies or maybe it's just going into places that we don't want it. You think about the neighbor that might be shining a floodlight into your yard, into your window. That can be a form of light pollution. When you're walking around the city, of course you have to have bright lights. You want to be able to see where you're going, not to trip up. But when you're outside in the wilderness, you want to be able to look up and see the stars, connect with the outside world. We need to keep the skies dark. As an international dark sky park, one of the things we really strive for is to keep our light pollution down as much as possible. So when you are camping in an area like this, the best things you can really do is, if you have a lot of outside lights on your camper, to turn off the ones you don't need. Try not to shine your lights, your headlights, your flashlights in, in other people's directions. If you can, use red flashlights. Only use the light when you need it. For example, don't leave your headlights on. And if you go inside your RV, please close your blinds so that that inside light won't come outside and disturb others. The, the concern that I have is that losing our night skies has more of an effect than just not being able to see the stars. There's a, an interconnectedness between the sky and the earth and what's beneath and losing the night skies is as much of an adverse effect as any other source or form of pollution that occurs. It is the overall impact that we need to be aware of. And there's, I know, we're, we're the only planet here.